got jacked up. So we're gonna. All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Thursday night with your boy, Tech King Mike. We just going to skip the intro and get right into it tonight. We're going to get right into it tonight. So let's make sure that everything is good. Can y'all hear me? Everything good to go? Let me know down below in the comment section. And let's see what the hell happened to my countdown. Raymond Williams is in the building. What's up with your money, Raymond? Big Ray. Kenny Man is in the building. What's up, Jason C? Good to see you. Genosis is in the house. What's up, Genosis? Nick, I Nick 20 waiting here. Oh, my baby is over there cutting the food. Arthur Lee Tech. What's up, man? What's up with you? Gwendolyn G. How you doing? How you doing? Let's see. Mr. Brian R. What's up, man? Discord serve fam right there. Easy Computer Solutions. What's up, Eric? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Jeff Hale is in the building. Hello, Jeff. Good to see you as well, sir. Ultra bruh. Ultra bruh. We in this building. We in the mix. We in the mix. Uh, what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Scope is in the building. Sean Robinson, how you doing, sir? Yep. That man, Technical T, is in the house. Man. Like I said, that was, uh, that was pretty funny. I literally trying to move from the one screen to the other one and messed around and swiped the intro away. So, yeah, we'll have that fixed by next week. But, man, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Let me get my uh, get myself together here. And uh, good to see you all, man. We almost stream almost almost didn't happen tonight. And that's literally because I was waiting on my Dukes to get home and she got home right in the nick of time. So stream is happening and we are in the building. And yes, by the title of the stream, you guys can see it. We got S22 plus in the building in that phantom white and that lovely cocaine, cocaina, the cocaina. We got that lovely cocaina. And we also have the juggernaut always always bet on black s22 plus ultra is in the building we are in here we are in here ready to ride man so hope everybody is doing well i see my man, man barry johnson mr generosity is in here man barry generosity johnson see over the technician is in the building what's up see over good to see you sir big youtuber big youtuber uh, Barry said, I am late. No, Barry, you are not late. You are actually right on time. You know, the intro would still be going on right now if I hadn't screwed it up. Uh, Easy said, Thunderbush was better than your haircut. <laughs> oh, man, if y'all missed Wired Wednesday last night, you got to check it out. It was a great stream last night, man. Been a while since I was able to join, but I was able to get a little break from Baby Girl last night helping the missus out. So was able to join and have a good night, man. It was a fella's night. Gigi took the night off. So it was pretty dope, man. It was pretty dope. But, man, so like I said, S22 Plus and Ultra in the building, man. If you guys have been watching the channel, uh, put out the unboxing video on this bad boy right here on the Ult on the Plus. And I have been using this one. My SIM card is in it currently right now. My backup SIM is in my iPhone. And I've been currently using this thing as my main device. And it took me a minute to get it set up. Um, it took me a minute to get it set up and that was just literally because I did, I did the transfer over from the iPhone. Um, but I actually had to, uh, what's what I'm looking for I had to cancel out the, uh, text messages because I realized that I just didn't, I didn't need all of those transferred over. I'd rather start fresh. Aditya, how you doing? How you doing? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Savage said, yo, Savage is in the house. Let's see. That black is sharp, but that phantom white looks amazing. Oh man, I love I love the phantom white. I'm gonna tell you like this. I love this phantom white, but I'm glad I went with black for my ultra. And that's just because the phantom white is nice, but I don't know. I like I like the black better. If I was going to do anything, like if I was gonna switch out any color, like if I if I if I had the option to return this or exchange it for another color. I probably would go with the graphite just because I really dig the graphite color. But see, I like this matte black, and that's because 
uh, my truck is actually going to be matte black. Like, I'm going to actually get my truck wrapped uh, later on this summer in matte black. So, yeah, it's going to it's gonna, it's gonna literally be uh, a matte black affair when it's all said and done. <laughs> he just said it was worth it, bro. Yes, it was. The Hawks TV is in the building. What's up, Hawks? Good to see you. Everybody, make sure you say hello to the Hawks. Ultra Gang, Ultra Gang. Yes, sir. Ultra Gang and the Ultra Bras are in the building. The Ultra Bras are in the building. Ultra Bra lives and rises. And your sim isn't in the ultra. No, the sim is not in the ultra, Brian. I literally. So I'm gonna tell you how. I'm gonna tell you how the events went, man. Like literally, sat here all day waiting for FedEx to deliver the freaking package. I had to pick my daughter up before 6:30 from daycare. FedEx hadn't shown up. I'm scrambling to get the daycare, scared out of my mind that I'm gonna come back home and see that little door tag. Hey, we sorry we missed you. Come to the office and pick it up. So I got home and they didn't show up. They came around 6:30. Dropped it off, and I, my wife literally just got home like 15, maybe 20 minutes ago top. So I shot the unboxing video. The unboxing video will be up tomorrow. Uh, it's just a real real quick video, but you guys know you got to play the game for the algorithm. So <laughs> uh, the unboxing will be up tomorrow. And tonight we're just going to talk about it as I actually go through the process of setting it up. Because what I'm doing now is just putting like all my you know information in it my google uh google accounts and everything so yeah man but yeah like like hey it's been a good experience with the s22 ultra dude i'm gonna tell you trent uh i switched over my secondary sim because i have two sim cards right and so what i did was i switched i have two sim cards and i have a u.s mobile sim card so the u.s mobile is going to be in this one and the main sim is going to be in the ultra you would think that i'd carry this phone around but literally since i put the sim in the plus I haven't had any issues. Not a single person has said anything about iMessage. Nothing has come up that has forced me to say, like, damn, I wish I had my iPhone with me. So I'm going all in. I'm going 100% raw to the gut, ultra, all day in my pocket. And that's the only phone that I'm going to be carrying around with me alongside with the Plus because I really feel like, I said this in my video, I really feel like this one here is not going to get the attention it deserves. So I, I want to give you guys some good content on this one because I just... I just don't feel like the plus is going to get the attention it deserves. So call it a gamble by buying both of them. But I just have a hunch and I have a feeling that the plus is going to be something that people are going to be interested in. The ultra is obviously the main selling point this year. It's the it's the note. Oh, it's the note hybrid. But I just have a feeling that the plus is going to be the sleeper hit, man. That's just that's just my, my, my thought process. The same way that I still feel like the F.E., is a better buy than the S22. You know, battery, screen size, build, everything. You know, the only thing that I feel like the FE is missing over the uh, regular S22 would be the um, uh, slightly improved cameras and probably, probably the uh, you know the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But that's about it. So let me catch up on y'all comments here. The Hawk TV said all black everything. Yes, ma'am, all black everything. Truck finna be matte black. I'm getting a chrome delete on it. I got a old, I got an old old five suburban, but I bought it because I've always wanted a a big body old school sub, uh, suburban. I just call call it a, a high school thing, but I've always wanted one of those, and I got a still of a deal on one, so I'm gonna get that thing wrapped in matte black. So we're gonna be literally this color on my truck. So I'm I'm lit. I can't wait for that to happen in the summertime. Get that dark tint too. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. What kind of truck yep yeah, i just said just say man f fedex sorry to hear with so many issues this week with them honestly man i'm not really mad at fedex normally my fedex people come earlier in the day so i'm just glad that i was here to catch them that's my thing i'm just glad that i was here to catch them because normally if you miss fedex you know you gotta like i said you gotta deal with going to the depot or whatever to pick it up and you know for me personally i would have had to put baby girl back in the car to go do it and i i just didn't feel like doing all that so Joey, hello. How are you? Good to see you, sir. Thank you for being here. You'll have to tell us how your wife likes it. Yes, on 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 that. I mentioned this for tomorrow's unboxing video because I'm gonna unbox hers as well. She, she I'm gonna, I'm, me and her have a nice video plan for her that'll be dropping on the channel. So make sure that you guys, you know, make sure you guys are ready for that one because um, I've never had my wife on camera before except for like a stream every now and then. So. Um, she will be in a video unboxing her uh, S22 Ultra. She went, so don't say nothing about it. Don't 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 say nothing. I know somebody gonna say something in the chat, but we we some we some we some heavy users over here with our storage. Um, 
she has gone with the burgundy 512 and i have the black one terabyte and for context the reason why we both use so much is because on her phone she has a 400 gig sd card with 128 uh base storage in her note 20 ultra and she's using about 365 gig maybe 370 gigs uh on her phone on my iphone 13 pro max i have the one terabyte here and i'm using about 680 so we both we both do a lot of stuff with our phones like i mean i have a whole macbook here she has a whole computer and tablet but we don't when we travel our phones are what we take with us so we both have a lot of like history on our devices that we just transfer to new ones so uh so this is and it's exciting for her because everyone knows in the past normally the black was the only one that came with like the larger storage option so the fact that this year she's getting you know the higher storage option in the color that she wants is 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 incredible so i'm really happy for her that she's able to do that uh let's see baby bear kill me with these eyes <laughs> getting something out of china by a dhl on aliexpress is more reliable than fed oh stop it does the phantom white stay clean or does it at times look dirty i mean i haven't had a case on it since i unboxed it and it looks fine to me you know uh i would say the only thing about this phone that probably I would say could be considered dirty if you want to call something dirty would be the chrome or the uh, silver sides, the aluminum sides. It's very reminiscent of the um, uh, of the silver iPhone, very reminiscent of that with the chrome edges and everything. So that's that would probably be the only thing uh, that I would say. UPS is awesome in my area when it comes to delivering packages. Poor Travis. I saw that, man. I saw that. I, and I that that is that is trash. What happened to Travis? Roberto, how you doing, sir? Thank you for being here. Good to see you. My man, Pat's Tech, is in the building. What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, FedEx screwed, FedEx screwed Travis badly. That was crazy. Can't believe FedEx delivered. Yeah, man. Yep. Uh, Burgundy is so clean. Yo, I'm going to tell you, man, uh, between Hefe, Trent, and T, the Burgundy bros, y'all are... Y'all almost had me, man. Y'all almost had me. But I even went and looked at it at the store, and I was like, mm, 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 mm. But then when I started seeing them terabytes selling out, I was like, nope, I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my black one. And if I need to, I, I skin it. Uh, and matter of fact, D-Brain got the leather skins back out. I might pick up a leather skin for it because uh, I might, I might have to skin this bad boy. So we'll see. Digital Slang is in the building. Digital Slang, what's up, Jeff? Good to see you, brother. Also, shout out to Digital Slang because we have a Saturday night tech fight this weekend, and that will be going down at 8.30 p.m. on the dot Eastern Standard Time. So immediately following the tech fight will be Digital Slang with his uh, Saturday chill stream. So make sure you guys are subscribed to Digital Slang so you can catch his stream after this weekend's tech fight. Let's see. So let's see. Yes, it is. Uh... LaShawn in this piece. What up, LaShawn? Did I miss La Hey, what's good? I did miss LaShawn. What's up, big homie? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Let's see. My S21 Phantom White lasted almost a year looking clean without a case. I can see it. I can see it. Like I said, this thing, this is really nice. Now, the first case that I have coming because, um, you know, your boy, your boy ain't rolling like that. So all the cases you see on the channel are cases I paid for with my own money. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be like T when I grow up and have these case companies hit me up. But until then... I'm paying for this stuff out of pocket. So the first case that I got for this one, it was only right with it being a white phone, is the Rinky Camo. Obviously, I had to get the Rinky Fusion X in the Camo, so that'll be here tomorrow alongside a few other cases in the Rinky lineup. The first cases that I got for the uh, for the Ultra here, I do also have a few Rinky cases. Shout out, shout out to Rinky for sending these out. We got a few of the cases here. Uh, that are going to be on the Ultra. So they did not send the camo one. And that's fine. Because I always buy the camo one anyway. So I got to get that one. Um, got a Bellroy leather case on the way. We got the Pataka Mag Easy 2. Uh, shout out to the homie J. Will and T. Both dropped videos on theirs today. And I'm going to try to do this on camera for the first time ever. And I am terrified. Because I'm, I am got a feeling I'm going to fuck it up. But we are going to try to do a White Stone Dome installation. So man, I, when I tell y'all. When I tell you we got content on these things coming, we got content on these things coming, boy. I'm out here. I'm I'm playing the game this year for real, for real. LaShawn stole Travis. <laughs> this is a big mix. Hey, shout out to Mix. What's up with you, big homie? <laughs> the burgundy is fire, but I'm still loving this matte black. So, Slang, did you get matte black and blue? Or you just you stuck with black when it was all said and done? Uh 
I think the sky blue is, is where it's at when it drops. I still got it in the back of my mind. Yeah, I, I mean, the sky blue is nice, but I'm going to put it like this, man. And I said it I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I like the black, burgundy, and other colors out there because you can literally, like, I like the, the, the symmetry, right? I like the fact that, like, the black blends in with the black border. I like I like that. I don't like the fact that with the um, uh, the blue, the red, and the graphite, it didn't. It, it was like a black matte black frame, like the Pixel Four XL. It didn't look right with the colors that they chose, except the graphite. That was the only one that it looked like. Hmm. But I mean, uh, after unboxing this thing, and I mean, y'all can just look at it on camera. Like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep on showing it because why not? This 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 matte black is cold blooded that might be the thumbnail for the unboxing right there i just got to clean up all of this bs behind me but that might be the thumbnail right there that matte black always been on black like wesley snipe said always been on black team burgundy even though i'm not buying the ultra <laughs> hey brian was good i see you migs let's see put a skin on it in no case oh sir you know no sir i appreciate hey of course of course there's a thing of course uh yeah, a, a, a fax had faded. The availability is what killed it for me. I actually had the graphite one ordered, and I got that email. I, I know Trent talked about it, and then a few other people, like Adam Tech Odyssey, talked about it. Um, or I got the email saying that it was canceled, you know, like need to verify the bank information, which obviously the bank information was straight because this one came from Samsung. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't, I, all right. But when I went back to reorder, that's when the site went down. And by the time I got into the site to get this one, it was just, you know, it was it is what it is. Uh, me saying I'm higher than LaShawn. <laughs> hey, man, well, I hope the surgery went well, man. hope the surgery went well on a, on a serious note. Okay, I canceled my blue and just got the black. I knew I'd have a Pataka case on it, so I never see the blue anyway. See, that's the thing, man. Like, I knew for a fact I'd probably never see the, the color, which is another reason why I'm good uh, with, you know, with this color. The man about tech. What up, Viper? Good to see you, sir. Hmm. Uh, let's see. CDF man said, how is the Note 22? It's not the Note 22. It is the S22 Ultra. S22 Ultra. Now, here's my here's my take on that, right? Because this has been the subject of some con of, con of contest lately. Um, this is my thing. I don't mind the joke. And I mean, because it, it is a note. In all, in all contexts, it is a note. I mean, it, it's got, it's literally got, it's got the S Pen. So in all in all contexts, it is a note. Which also, this S Pen is nice. It may not be the giant uh full size pen like Eric wants in the phone, but this is a nice S Pen. Like the nice the, the, the I see with the reviewers that I watched, the videos that I did watch on it, with that rubberized texture, this is a nice S Pen. I'm I'm a fan. Um I do think that what Samsung maybe could have done to further the marketing, possibly called it the S twenty two Ultra Note Edition. You know, like, I don't know, but I kind of like where Samsung has played it because I'm going to tell you like this. Think about it from this perspective, right? You had the S22 Ultra and you had the S22, uh, well, you had the S20 Ultra and you had the Note 20 Ultra. I'll do the I'll do the, the 20 line since that was the last year we had both in the same. Now, the 20 Ultra had, uh, the S20 Ultra had the camera issues, right? But then the Note 20 Ultra fixed those camera issues. But... A lot of people didn't really care for S pens like that. Like a lot of people were like, eh, I don't really need a stylus in a phone. I'm good. I don't really care about it like that. I'm gonna show you guys this message. I'm gonna show you all this message because I I I wanna I know I know he don't I know he won't care. This is from one of my uh, one of my best best friends for life. Um, best friends for life. But check that out right there. You see that there? This phone is dope. I love the pen. I don't know why I never bothered to get a phone with a pen before, but I'm never going back. Samsung knew what they were doing by merging these two phones together. They knew what they were doing. You can call it what you want, call it, but, but a spade is a spade. They knew what they were doing, and they set it up beautifully. Because this dude is a longtime S-Line user. I mean, from the, uh, from, the, from the original Galaxy S. So... For him to say that, I was like, hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Only thing I don't like about the Ultra is the curved screen, and I love flat. I love the flat displays. You know, I'm the minority. I like the curved display. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm the, I'm, I'm the big minority here. I like the curved displays. Man, let me catch up on the comments because we are rolling tonight. 
I miss that blue black from the old Note 5 and S6. Yeah, man, I had the Note 5 for a minute. I love that. I love that phone. Kia 2 Technical is in the middle. What's up, Kia? Kia, I see you dropping that content, girl. Keep it up. I see you. I'm good at slaying setting up my new camera angle. Ooh, we got a new camera angle coming to coming to holla at your boy. I'm a fan. <coughs> Excuse me. It ain't the Rona still. I promise I'm over that. Just sinuses have been killing me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just let the damn note go. Let it R.I.P. I love the ASMR sound that the S Pen makes. It's pretty cool, man. Your secret is safe with me. Taking my <laughs> I would like a metal pen. I like the name S22 Note. T said, throw the damn towel. <laughs> I still wish they kept the note the same. Like Cadillac called the Sedan DeVille, the DeVille, then DTS. I don't know what they're calling it today. Yeah. Freaking uh, still wish they kept the note name. I, I, like I said, I understand. If they called it like the S22 Ultra Note Edition, like I said, I think that'd be dope as well. But freaking hate curved displays i'm definitely the minority thing because i i don't mind it i think it's actually dope like the pixel 6 pro i like the curved display on the pixel 6 pro s line sold better than the note line so it makes sense to name it an s boom boom as soon as LaShawn fire up that new camera he's gonna lose <laughs> why would you why would you wish that on him fa <laughs> oh man i love to see it though i love to see everybody stepping up and upgrading man i love it eventually would love to get um with the, with the shortage and everything being the way it is, at some point, maybe by my birthday uh, in May or sometime in the summer, I uh, would love to replace this ZV-E10 with probably like an, uh, you know, go back to an A7C or maybe an A7 IV. I don't know, but I would love to just get, go back to full frame and just use this as a top down because I'm going to tell you, I am hooked. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I barely talked about last night. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. It's, it's look, man, I'm, I'm an advocate for letting it go. But at the same time, it is hard to not want to say it. Like it is, it is definitely one of those things that you gotta get, you gotta get used to. You gotta get used to not saying it. So uh, I've literally been telling myself S twenty two Ultra, S twenty two Ultra. <laughs> I've even almost called this the S twenty two Ultra a couple times. I think I, maybe tonight. So it is what it is. But um, one thing that I will say that I have noticed so far in using this S twenty two Plus. One thing that I will say that I've noticed, and I'm going to see if I got it here. No, I don't have it in here just yet. Oh, actually, I do. I do have it here. I do have it here. This camera is legit. I am a fan of the camera. Now, mind you, you still have the typical shutter lag and, you know, all this other stuff, but it's not as bad as it has been. Uh, it's not it's not as bad as it has been in the past. To me, it's not as pronounced as it has been. And I really do think that Samsung is continuing to get it right. And it's almost one of those things where, like, when you buy a digital camera, right, every camera, uh, every single camera, has its own quirk right there's no camera that is perfect every camera has a quirk you choose to adapt because you enjoy what you get out of that camera for me as much as i like the iphone camera as much as i like the pixel cameras which pixel cameras are always going to be like god tier for me but as much as i enjoy those cameras i i've always liked samsung cameras some of my best pictures that i've taken from when me and my girl when we were dating when we went out on dates cruises things like that was when i you know really kind of, I, I don't want to say blossom socially, but it was when I really started taking pictures with my phones like that, and a lot of those pictures came from a Note 4, a Note 5, a Note 8, an S7, you know, uh, and an S9 Plus, you know, leading up into our wedding, so some of my favorite pictures that I have in my storage and in my cloud storage have been from Samsung devices, so to see the progress that we've made, man, I am a fan. T gonna have seven camera angles by the summer, <laughs> Hey, it's he gonna mess around and had a whole game shut down with them camera angles. I promise you. Uh, let's see. It's like a camera angles arm race up in here. I'm gonna tell y'all like this right here. Until I move, um, until we are able to move, because y'all know how the market is right now, and with all the um, uh, all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, prayers out, you know, to the to the to to, to Europe right now with everything going on over there. Um, Things are going to change as far as the market goes, so we may just hold tight till we can get a house, because I feel, 
I'm not an expert. I'm not an analyst. And this is not financial advice. You know, I have to have to protect myself. But I feel like a crash is coming in the market. So when we, when the time does come, uh, when the time does come for us to move, that is when I will probably want to get deeper into more camera angles and stuff. But for now, I'm cool with the with the idea of the two because with my, you know, um, uh, A roll being right here and the B roll would literally just be right over. So when I'm unboxing something, it's just literally right here. That would be just enough for me. Because uh, once you play around with multicam, it is fun. Like I, you know, I don't know how it is. Um, I don't know how it is with. Um, uh what am i trying to say i don't know how it is with premiere or davinci but in vinyl cut it's actually pretty cool it's actually pretty dope yeah hefe i'm with you man i'm holding off on any major purchases for the time being it's, it's it is man it is like i that's one of the reasons why i was i was content with going in with these two because this this the content that that i can produce with these and you know shout out to the to the to the to the, to the, to the ultra bros for you know continuing to help and push with that um, I don't, I'm, I'm good. I don't really need to worry about anything else major, uh, for a while because, you know, yeah, like you said, today is literally only the beginning. So it is literally only the beginning. I hate, I, I hate to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to stay on it too long because it is an unfortunate situation, but at the same time, you know, something that being my wife were talking about today, being a father and a, and, and a, and a mother now, and, you know, thinking about the status of the world at the end of the day, we still got to get up and go to work. We still got to do what we got to do. So it is what it is. Uh, Jason C. No, that was not the Note 4 Edge. It was just a regular Note 4. I uh, just had a regular Note 4 in white, which this kind of reminds me of a little bit with the silver edges and the flatness of them, like the chamfered, the chamfered edges. So, uh, yeah, that's facts. You got to start somewhere. He is progressing. Holla at your boy. is definitely progressing. Need a Canon R. Ooh, boy. T, you see that? You see that, T? You see that? <coughs> Boy said he need a Canon R. Good evening to you, Ronald Sims. How are you doing, sir? Good evening to you. But while we're here, let's let's do let's do a little talking about the S22 Plus and Ultra. So let's see. So that's what you're working with with both of them. So as you can see, obviously the Ultra is taller. And then the Plus, both of them are surprisingly about the same thickness, which is pretty interesting that they're the same thickness of devices, considering, um, uh, considering the fact that this has a smaller battery than this one, and this one has an S Pen inside of it. Now, one thing that I have thoroughly enjoyed from the reviews that I have seen so far is that the battery looks like it's going to be pretty impressive. Now, this one here, this one here, lasted me pretty much all day. I would say the only thing that probably stopped, like stopped the battery from being great was the um smart switch was still running in the background but otherwise it was it was pretty good as far as battery con is concerned took it off the charger around 7 30 it did drop down pretty fast but once i got everything set up and i finished it it was it was it was smooth sailing from there so but i want to see if there's anything that i want to test as far as battery is concerned i want to see how these two stack up against each other battery wise because this one here battery on this one is incredible um, S21 FE battery is amazing. So when you put the two of those together, I'm very curious to see how that is going to play out. And as you can see, this is why I say that I think the FE is going to be the better buy over the plus because think about it or over the S22. S22 is a 6.1 inch screen. The S21 FE is a cheaper phone. And look at that. Look at the size comparison. Literally almost the exact same size phone. So I don't know. Do with that as you will. But like I said in my video uh, the other day, I think the FE is going to be the much better buy. So, uh, Tech B, yes, the S21 FE is a great phone. You still, you know, I still love me some EOS R. Yes, sir. You know, the thing about the EOS R, and I'm going to tell you, I would go back to Canon. I would go back to Canon uh, since, I'm, since I'm already making the move back to Windows for streaming purposes. But I would go back to Canon. The only issue I have with the R and the R5 and the R6 is obviously price, but just the limitations that they have when it comes to 4K uh, recording because mm. sorry y'all. Like I said, sinuses are getting me. My dog on ear uh, <laughs> ear pop. But the EOS R, I don't know. Like I just don't like the limitations when it comes to 4K. See, that's my thing. If you're gonna step up to 
another camera not necessarily like full frame or just in general but if you're going to step up and invest in a more expensive more powerful camera it's obviously to improve the quality of your content i'm cool with the zve 10 and 1080 because that's enough for me right now but in the future i would like to get into 4k i'd like to edit in 4k and you know upload and shoot in 4k so and like t said that rf glass is expensive that rf glass is not cheap at all so that's something else that you got to keep in mind when you're looking at a eos r um uh, yeah brian i'm going through it man i'm going through it but it is what it is it is what it is like i said just a little bit of sinuses uh also haven't eaten yet so as soon as this stream is over with you boys gonna go kill some taco bake because uh i am hungry but man I'm not really sure what else to talk about when it comes to these S devices, man. Like I said, we, I'm just going to let the rest of it be talked about in the content, you know, uh, coming to the channel. So on that note, I guess we can talk about some other stuff that's happening in tech. I just kind of want to see how this Pataka case is going to fit on it while we're on stream because I'm really... Mm, this is a nice fit. And T... I don't feel that um I don't feel that air pocket you was talking about. I don't feel that air Oh, that is clean. Oh Hi -ya. That is a clean that is a clean, clean look right there, boy. As my man Barry Johnson would say, that P on the back. Gotta love that P. Pushing P, boy. Pushing, pushing P. Yeah, this is a nice case, man. This is really nice. So I will take that off of the phone so we can make sure that we have that ready to go. Uh, ready to go for the video. Ugh, I can get it off the phone. Ugh, ugh, get it off the phone. Get off the phone. Damn it. Come off. Ugh. That's the only thing about Pataka cases sometimes is that they don't want to come off when you want them to. Oh, also shout out to that boy. Holl shout out to Holla at your boy because I ordered a mouse case today. The mouse case will be here for this phone in a couple of days because I wanted to try the mouse case out, man. Ew, the P kills it for me. Look at that P. Look at that P. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the P. You like it. Pause. Pause. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I agree with Viper. Sony is straight gangster. Yeah, I hear you, Mike. That's why I went M50 Mark II. Yeah, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm straight on. Like, if I, I'm tell you what. If I, if y'all see another camera angle on this channel this year, right? Another camera angle on this channel. It may be another ZV-E10 if I can catch one. Just because I'm really impressed with this camera. Like, this is literally an A6100, and I love it for the price. And probably just would use another one with the kit lens. Like, I'll just take the kit lens off of this one and make it the top down and just get the body only if I can catch it in, in stock and just get, like, the Sigma 16, like I already want to get for this one. And that'll be it, man. That'll be it. Uh, let's see actually pretty decent even though i hate carbon fiber stripes like that see i like carbon fiber when it's like this i just don't like carbon fiber when it's like sectioned off to like one particular spot on the case i don't like that uh p is for price and the price is right just got my mouse case in for the ultra and it's nice but this phone's so damn big i can't use anything bulky i understand that i completely understand that what you know about them peas <laughs> every time i see that p i think of tetris get off the phone case <laughs> Mouse case is dope, my new daily. Yeah, man. Like, see, I, I understand where you're coming from, T. Like, you you know, uh, you don't like anything bulky. But, see, I like bulky cases. I, I don't mind bulky cases. I'm probably, I want to get the uh, sub case for this thing. Like, I want to get a sub case for it. And probably will get an OtterBox just to try the OtterBox out. Um, I know if anybody got some OtterBox cases that they want to sell you, boy, uh, Cash App is... Uh, uh, Tech King Mike, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I will I will invest in your cases if you want to get rid of them. So uh, don't be stingy. But yeah, man, I am a fan of, I'm a fan of bulky cases. And I'm also a fan of cases with the hip holster because when I do eventually go back to work March 22nd, I will be needing something that's going to be protective like that um, when I go back to work. So let's see. Genosa says, yep, carbon fiber patterns like that. Very popular. My preference, though, is like the forged carbon patterns. Okay, I can understand that. All cases need MagSafe. Oh, I forgot that this thing has MagSafe. I, I forgot this thing has MagSafe, and I don't have the charger back here to try it. So I'll have to do that in the video when I record that video. So mouse case is like a bar of soap. They just need more grip. Now, the other case that I got to order, I got to order that case tomorrow, is the um, Rhino Shield. I want to try the Rhino Shield case because Rhino Shield mouse 
Bellroy. Um, those are the three cases that I I never tried until this year. I tried the Bellroy case for the Pixel 6 Pro, and the grip on that case was incredible. Like the grip on that case was incredible. I loved it, and I wanted. I, I'm waiting on my Bellroy case to get here for this S22 Ultra. Um, because I think that that's going to be one of my nice favorite cases. Samsung's leather cases have always just been very meh, like a strong, strong meh with, a, with an emphasis on a couple of H's, like just meh at the end of it. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to invest in one of those, um, but I will I will check one out. Like I will check that out. Um, but the Rhino Shield and the mouse cases, from what I've heard, they fit really good. They fit really good. LaShawn says, that's why I did. Main reason I got the M50 Mark II. I already had the kit lens from the OG M50. So I threw the Sigma 16 uh, on the Mark II. There you go. There you go. And I know that's going to I know it's gonna be fire once you get it, man. I know it's going to be fire once you get that set up. Kia to Technical says, I do have the camera. Okay, all right. Well, Kia, I, I will hit you up. 30 people watching and only 14 thumbs. Got to pump those numbers up. Hey, thank you, Juan. I appreciate that. Also, thank you for being here, Juan. Thank you, man. If the buttons are gummy, I want my money back. You got a 13 Pro or a 13 Pro Max? I currently have a 13 Pro Max. I've got a 13 Pro Mizzle currently. So, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, well, you got to, uh, okay, let me see. You got to plug it up for me. I am <laughs> Shout out to my shout out to my lovely assistant. My lovely assistant brought the MagSafe plug back here so we can test MagSafe on it. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and test MagSafe now. Obviously, like I said, I'm I'm talking to y'all while in the process of uh, setting the phone up. But let's see, this thing has MagSafe, so that's crazy. We have MagSafe on Galaxy devices now. So one more time, pull that off and. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's that's actually really dope that we've got MagSafe on a Galaxy device. Like, I mean, we all know MagSafe is literally just something like 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 with the Pataka case. It's just something built into the case. So it's not like it's some type of, you know, revolutionary thing like Apple, you know, portrayed it as. But it is nice to have that because if you've got MagSafe accessories, now if you have the right case for your S22 device, you know that it'll work. So that's pretty cool. So let's go on ahead and get that person up out of here. Let's ban them. Because uh, I don't know what that is, but let's go on and get them up out of here. And yes, tell them one. Yes, sir. I appreciate that one, as always. Let's see. The ultimate cheat code. What MagSafe puck is that? This is the Native Union MagSafe puck. This is from Native Union. It is a. It has a 10-foot cord. So for context, my cord right now is plugged up on the other side over here. And it's about, I mean, this is 10 feet right here. So, I mean, you do the math on how far away it is. So it's it's pretty, pretty far away. Um, uh, let's see. Michael Peppertech, also welcome to the stream, says, I'm looking for a MagSafe compatible case for my S22 Ultra, but the only ones available on Amazon are either way out or crappy. Been eyeing that Pataka, but not available yet, according to their website. I got my Pataka through um, Amazon, Mike. So you might want to check out uh, Amazon for the Pataka case, because I got mine. I ordered mine, said it wasn't supposed to be here until like the 25th through the 1st of March, and it showed up on the 23rd. So I want to check them out if you're looking for one. Does MagSafe charges at 66 watt? No. No, I don't think so. Um, but I don't know. I can, I'll can. i test it and find out. I will test it and find out. Uh, I would say I'll let you know if you're interested in buying one, but I know you're not going to buy one, but I'll still, I'll still test it out just to see, you know, because that is something that people should know if it's going to charge, you know, at the rate that they want it to. Uh, but on a side note, you know, uh, while we're here talking and we're chilling this evening, let's shift gears a little bit. We got a tech fight this weekend, man. So you guys know normally how this goes Thursday nights with Tech King Mike. Right after me, we follow preceding me is... Um, uh, following me is going to be Ike's Tech Talk, so Ike will be streaming tonight at 9 o'clock, and I'm sure he'll have a lot to talk about as he received his S22 Ultra as well. His unboxing is up on his channel, so make sure you go check it out uh, and, and give him a shout and a sub, man, so make sure you do that for your boy. But that being said, Ike and Galen's Gadgets will be competing this weekend in a tech fight. Now, this is both of their first time on a Saturday night tech fight, and I'm really excited because... Uh, I got a lot of love and a lot of respect for Ike and Galen, man. Those two are, uh, uh, I, I definitely, you know, like I said, I got a lot of love for both of those guys and I'm excited to have them on because I like 
both of their styles when it comes to their content and i like the energy that they both have as just you know good brothers in general um galen stream is really dope to be on that uh shout out the t and uh nasim speech for that night that the three of us were on there that was a really fun time would love you know love to do it again um but yeah galen and ike's tech talk will be debating this weekend and we're going to be talking about the s22 ultra so we'll be getting into that this weekend talking about that and it's going to pretty much be con just questions based on this phone and it's actually going to be fun because i didn't know this until i saw his video which i need to really do a better job at commenting on people's videos after i watch them but galen has never had a galaxy device before this ultra is his first galaxy device as a longtime pixel user so um, um, it's, it, this makes it even more interesting for me because I know Ike has kind of always floated between different devices, but this is going to be pretty interesting to see, uh, how the two of them go in the tech fight. Also, we have Barry Johnson as a judge, technically T as a judge, and of course, Scott Peachy will be in the building as a judge. That Lord Peachy will be there as well. Um, the best part about the tech fights to me is the energy that everybody brings to it. Uh, between the judges and the debaters i just love the fact that we can have a fun stream that can provoke people to think about things from a different perspective and it is just always a great time to me when we have them so obviously we'll be working on the next one immediately following this one <clears throat> it is a little bit more difficult to get a tech fight every single weekend but um that is the goal eventually you know i put it out there now put it out there into the universe to speak it out that is the goal the goal is to get the tech fights to the point where we can have one if not every weekend at least every other weekend just to make sure that your saturdays are always filled with a tech fight uh but it's going to be interesting man i have a question set up for each judge that's one of my favorite things about having judges on is that i have a question set up for each judge so because i know i kind of know how t is when he's when, when he's when he's on there i kind of know how barry is a little bit as well and even though both of them have never judged together i'm going off of their personalities and their uh, perspectives on their content and their knowledge of tech and i've got i've got questions set up for each person so that the debaters will have to kind of, in a way, not only argue their side of the question that they choose or that they're forced to answer, but they'll also kind of have to argue in a way to appeal to the judge because, I mean, that is a part of the game. You have to convince the judges of your side. So I think this is going to be a great night, man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. T said he, had, he may have to ease up on the bourbon. I have already told myself I'm not drinking anything Saturday night because I want to make sure that I am... 100% present uh, to be there. Yes, this fight is going to be hype. I am excited, Juan. I am excited. So uh, Juan is also one of my favorite judges to have on because Juan is the technical monster when it comes to judging. I'm telling you, man, if if the question says X, Y, Z and you answer with an ABC, you are done dead in the water. You are done dead in the water. So shout out to Juan for always uh, coming through and, 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 and uh, showing love on the stream, man. So these drunk judges, let's go. <laughs> yeah, man. Drunk judges is going to be fun, man. But yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, Saturday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, should be no more than about an hour. And then, like I said, following me right after that will be uh, Digital Slang uh, with his Saturday night chill stream. So uh, we'll probably, depending on how Baby Girl is doing and, you know, if I'm not too tied up after the stream probably slide on over there and uh, hang out with slang for a little bit if he's willing to have a few of us because that's usually you know what he likes to do so that'll be a lot of fun man but yeah I, I i'm excited man um i look forward to doing these with 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 everyone and i just love i just love having everyone come out and have a good time that's all that matters to me is that everyone comes on and has a uh has a good time so Juan doesn't miss a damn thing. No, he does not Juan does not miss a damn thing when he judges man uh -uh -uh. Now, I'm going to tell you, man, T said judging is hard. I still want, and I know some people in the chat may not remember this. They may not remember this. And T probably going to say let it go and let it die like he, is, like he is with the note line. But I still would love to see T and uh, J. Will have a, have a tech fight. Even though it may not be Sony versus Canon anymore, I just still would love to see the two of them have a tech fight. Because I just think that will be fun to see. Also... Uh, also making an appearance this eve uh, Saturday evening. Hopefully, if everything goes well, we will be bringing back the funeralization 
of the loser of the tech fight. So uh, shout out to Easy Computer Solutions because Eric will hopefully be in the building, suit and everything, ready to uh, you know get get give the eulogy for the for the debater that fell that evening. So yeah, man, it's gonna be a great time. My fave, oh, you know the judging. Hey, one, I will let you know. As one, I will let you know. Um, I will let you know for sure. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to one also for the plug uh, for TK Bay because that was great having TK on on the last one, man. Um, that was that was a great. It was just a great time. I, it was a great time. I always enjoy the tech fights, and like I said, I really the goal is to get it to the point where we can do this, if not every weekend, at least every other weekend, just to you know, just to keep it going, man. I really, I really think it's something that we could really keep going um but you know now now that now that my daughter is here and time is a little bit more manageable uh you know and as she gets older it gets a little easier to manage time so i am hoping that we can just keep this ball going and keep this momentum going uh juan doesn't need no spreadsheets <laughs> so Juan Juan does not need no spreadsheets i'm gonna tell you how you can tell when Juan is about to get you because Juan will be listening like this right he'll be listening to you talk and then he'll just kind of hit this move right here and when he does that, that's when you know you just lost. You just lost. Juan could have literally been on the precipice of saying, I'm going to go with him. But if he hits this right here, you're done. You're done. You just lost his vote. Hey, Ace Rock Tech in the building. What's up, Ace? Good to see you, brother. Ace said, dig the t-shirt. Yes, sir. Purple rain. Purple rain. You already know, man. I already know. Savage would say Juan is a gangster judge. T said, man, I'm not a debater. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, you know, he might not be a debater, but it was, you know, it is what it is. Ace in this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes. <laughs> Genosis knows. Anybody who's seen the tech fights before where Juan has been a judge, you know, when Juan hits that face, that's 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 it. It's almost like uh, it's almost like one of those things like you just can associate, you know, when Juan does this. And when Scott does like this. You know that like the decision making process was either very swift or it was very like, ugh, you know, <laughs> so but that's why I love it, man. I love the I love the different energy and the different vibes that are brought to each one. So but I think that's pretty much it for this evening. Y'all I don't really have too much else to talk about. Um, like I said, I want to go ahead and get some of these. Uh, I'm going to spend the evening recording tonight. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Give everybody a good chance to hit the bathroom. Get a snack and a drink together from my boy uh, Ike. So <laughs> one, be, one be like, <laughs> exactly. You know it's over when that happens. You know it's over. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. Uh, and, and just kind of relax for the rest of the evening. Get ready to enjoy Ike's Tech Talk uh, streaming live at 9 p.m. Thursday nights with Mike and Ike. You already know. You got Thursday nights with Mike and Ike. You got Friday nights with Holla at Your Boy and Savage Scientist. If he streams, you got... Um, you got uh, who else you got you got on uh saturday you got tech fights digital slang on sundays you've got el jefe along with uh ben lover of tech if he streams but ben is out here working like a madman so um yeah ben will hopefully be uh, back to streaming at some point but i've also respect ben for his hustle and his grind because that dude is killing the game right now i mean that man's working on four or five channels so shout out to Ben, man. So Ben, we'll be here when you're ready to stream again, brother. You already know. Peachy Face is in the building. Yes, it is. I got to work on my poker face. Uh, HVB says, yo, no more tech fights. Okay, I'm not sure what that's about. I hope you're not a troll because if you are, we'll have to get you up out of here. I was going to say the Peachy Face palm is equivalent to Juan's four smile face. The Juan is a boss. All he got to do is nod his head and your ass is done. <laughs> Let's see. Hello, Alexis. Yes, great stream, man. Rest your voice. Get some hot tea. I plan on getting some green tea after this is over with. So, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, like I said, man, the rundown, you got you got literally got to stream every week, every day from the fam. You got Monday, you got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Everybody streams throughout the week. So there's no reason for you to not have, you know, not be able to catch a good live stream with the people in the chat and just to hang out and have a good time, man. But on that note, <coughs> we are going to go ahead and wrap it up. 9 p.m. Ike's Tech Talk. If one of my mods wants to throw uh, his link in the stream, and I will have it updated in the description, um, you know, for those of you that want to go catch it out on the replay. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up on that note. I'll catch you guys on another Thursday night with Tech King Mike, S22 Ultra, S22 Plus. Content going to be coming and hitting y'all in the mouth. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel, and I will catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.